since we're live here at Loop Music, we can say we'll just speak to Olive the Boy and not speak to Beat Vampire. He's just one person that has one made hit, two made a hit maker, three make hits for other hit makers. You understand? And uh, brain behind Loop Music and everything in between. Vampire, Charlie, that's a thing. I feel good. Yeah, double double na man as a day. I'm here to me who yepa. Aha, Charlie. I know say you know be calm guy. This conversation is going to be short and sweet. Mm. How do you do it? First off, like how if you they sit down, they program the beat, and what what runs in your head before a beat comes out? Okay, first of all, nyamia dum katashi buga buga any experience. It's Nyamia Dom Nidi in own time, quite sorry, but Nyamia Dom Moho. What keyboard or church? Come on for there. True. We church. Christ Apostolic, Nunga Central. When was the last time you went to church? Think. You last think? Last year. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> Just imagine. Oh, oh, early this year, yeah. First Sunday in um, January. Yeah. Yeah. The first weekend in January in Anawa, yeah, yeah, so yeah. if you hope. Yeah. We are ending me. But me, boys, I'm going to now, sorry, near Kumu, like, can you what? How how do they do it? Me, me, try me beside the group of people, so no more they go to so no they for the birthday. That's how you go to church. Yeah. No, actually, half hour. They me walk me here with in the near Makumu. That's the real church. Okay, okay, I hear. Let's leave it like that. It's the end. The Nyamia don't know her, but the experience. Uh, yeah, I want us to talk about that because you've produced for off the top of my head. Eh, you've produced for Kitty. It was a hit. Yeah. You've produced for Wendy Shea. It was a hit. You've produced for Last Mid. It was a hit. In fact, two times. Yeah. And all the two are hits. And you're producing for Olive the Boy and all the songs are hits. I've produced for Shatawali. Was it a hit? Yeah, one done. Had you been to? So just imagine, so how do you do it? And now I'm going to share so mm. uh, if I'm to tell you how I do it, I don't even know how I do it. It just they happen to me. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's just the grace of God and and near day. Right. This year for Telesel Ghana Music Awards, you've been nominated for Producer of the Year. And uh, aside from that, that's your nomination. Yeah. But other categories has songs that you produced. Yeah. Being nominated, yeah. mm. how proud are you as? Uh, I, I'll say a father because they are your babies. Uh, so how proud are you as a father having all these works speak for you? My head is naturally big, but now it feels like <laughs> that of the elephant. It feels like music, music. I feel it's big, very big. <laughs> I feel so proud, like finding myself, mm -hmm. people recognizing my works, and now imparting into other talent like Olive the Boy, like hmm. that's awesome. I, I feel great. Right. Let's talk about Olive the Boy too. I asked him how you found him and he said you guys found each other. Each other. Mm. But tell me the truth. What made you decide that you were going to send Olive beats and when he decided to come back and say, okay, I'll work with you. What made you decide that, okay, yes, let's work together. Okay, so growing up as a producer, yeah. I've always wanted to be different. Okay. So if you listen to my sound, most people think I'm a Nigerian. You guys have the same marking scheme there. <laughs> it's, it, it, you guys have written it there. <laughs> I've always wanted to be different yeah. because that's what he also said. Yeah. He's my son. And you know, your man. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So he you knows go. this house is all about being different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the different house. Uh -huh. <laughs> so like growing up, I've always wanted to be different. If you listen to my beats, it doesn't sound like the regular Ghana sound. Yeah. Like, even if there is a bit of high life, it still get the Afro beat thing. So people, they relate me to Nigerian. I'm not a Nigerian, I'm a Ghanaian. Mm. What's your name, actually? Nanaya Asari, Esumi Bimpeni Peter. Continue. Continue, continue, continue. Yeah, so... <laughs> Hey, you're ready, Maswa. Hello, continue, continue. Yeah, and one thing I believe in is growth. So, mm -hmm. I just didn't want to chase the big art for hate and all that. I wanted to grow with someone. Yeah. And at that time, we were internet, and so I just search for talent. So I saw Olive uh, on Kojo Sheldon's page. Yeah. For Twitter, yeah. And I was like, damn, this is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. 
I, I, I really connected at that moment. When, when was it? Oh, back in 2021. Is it 2020? 2020. Yeah, late 2020. And that's like four years. Yeah. And looking at four years, what you've done with Olive the Boy alone, mm, that's massive. Yeah. Mm, that's my. You, uh, if they don't give you the producer of the year, self car, you know that you've done great. I don't work. think it's a conversation. Eh. Yeah, I'm the producer of the year. Kwame Eugene is there, which Rockstar made it. Compare, Who has also produced the hits? Compare the hits head to head. You, you can tell us that this is a producer, this is an artist beat. Oh, there is a difference. Yeah. There's a difference between a producer producing beats and an no, artist, artist producing beats. Beat. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the difference? Me, I don't know. So t educate me. That's why I'm here right now as a producer. I'm not here as an artist. That's the difference. Yo, and then there is Q Beats. Yeah. There is MOG. Respect. You get it? There is Liquid Beats. Yeah. And then Easy Joe. Yeah. Bro, you say four you, songs. You're still saying it's no conversation. I have four songs. Uh huh. Cubit Girl One. Cubit has one song. Yeah. Which song is that? Terminator. Uh huh. And what are your four songs? Good Sing, mm -hmm. Butter My Bread, Liquor, and I Light. And only Butter My Bread can shape you. So you add Good Sing, add Liquor. It's obvious. Emoji. But time by Sarkodie. Mm hmm. Let's go for shape up. So for good thing, but my bread count. Liquid beats. And I say liquid beats, you're a liquid. Let's check it. So this thing, how you talk, um, we get our own. Oh, yeah. And it's on tape. If it come where you don't get to, we go post them again. Means they are real. And this is not a voting kind of thing. It's determined by the board and the academy. Yeah, they know. Mm. They know it's mine. They know it's yours. Yeah. So what if it doesn't come to you? Because MOG has been winning producer of the year back to back. At least Qbeat has won some. Mm, Liquid Beats as well. So you think you'd be different? This is this your first producer of the year nomination? No, I think this is the second time. Second time. Yeah. Last year, you, you got nominated and yeah. you didn't win. Yeah. With what song? It was Mr. Drew and I think last mid year. Oh, okay. But this year they gave him because now it'd be four. Oh, yeah, the songs will be global hit songs, not just Ghana here. Mm -hmm. The Eugene songs and things you are talking about, oh, it's only Terminator that can compete with me. Mm -hmm. And I have a song, a bit only Terminator, and so I compete. That's Butter My Bread. It's doing the numbers past Terminator. Mm -hmm. And good thing they there. Let's go today there. Until they check it. <laughs> Yo, Mate. Producing a hit. Obise, mm. uh, a lyrics. Some to say it's uh, the song or no, the beat. So as a producer, what do you say? Do you think having a hit song in the market, it's solely based on how good a producer will mix, master and cook up the beat or it's solely on the lyrics? I think they work hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Way back, then people don't really they pay attention to some things. Mm -hmm. But now we have music listeners or must we be listening to every little detail. True. So now if you take everything into consideration, the production, the writing, your melodies, mixing and mastering, they work hand, hand, hand in hand like, yeah. Mm. The first song you produced that became a monster hit, uh, can you tell us about it and how you felt and how much uh, money you owe me out of that? My first hit song was One Done by Shatawale. Shato. That's the very hit, first hit song you produced at Beat Vampire. And um, Anna. Is, it, is it One Done or Mr. Drew Mood? Which one? I think it's one done. Mm. My mood went global compared to one done, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, how much money did he make? A lot. Yeah. yeah. It shows, eh? Oh, a lot. I bought my first car back in 2022. Out of production? Yeah. And it's cow? Baby. I was saying, me giant cast on a music producer. Oh, no, 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 no. So I was like, no, it's cow. Yeah, I'm not choking that we make. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my brother, Charlie. Any any new projects that is coming up? Like, well, what's next for Beat Vampire? How do we find you? And of course, we'll number Beat If we don't want work with you, the kind of money you go charge up and coming the fear say they go come close to you. I feel like we are not even charging enough because now dancers are taking five thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars to create challenge and all that. Uh -huh. I feel like producers are not even taking enough. So whatever fee I'm taking right now, it's not even enough.
o sambe dobo no what i say ndi madam fu ya o ya pen come here person your friend abc mason at the end of but he's a rapper though okay uh, do you produce rappers yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even gospel even gospel so like he up and coming or your nss so or just 715 or bendy to aka the up and coming producers believe in them and grow with them and my name ben you go where you can afford i can't just pick 20000 ghana cedis i won't buy brabus mhm i don't go fit i just find some moto kakran kakra go reach the brabus level you know? okay so if you can't afford the big producer grow with that young producer or area move on small small move below but what if they want to work with you like tap into your expertise uh your just as how you found olive and you're doing wonders for them i know you produce for international artists but don't overlook up and coming grassroots oh, i'm not overlooking uh-huh. up and coming if you are really talented you have what i want yeah. from a record label my team will reach out and we, we will sign you okay you won't reach out to, your team would rather, yeah. rather reach out to the up and coming yeah. so they have to shine it's a record label we have stretches okay okay you know we say they up and coming for come to you you would rather find him if he's if you are good you will find you oh, okay okay so that's advice for you from beat vampire charlie do your best make sure that you're shining your uh there is a quote brighten the corner where you are i don't know about that yeah uh, me i know so brighten the corner where you are and loop music will find you yeah mm, and then whatever uh, it is that you're doing mm. there are people watching you you may never know mm. you always are there online browsing searching for talent so just put what you have out there and stop chasing big names and all that if you are good we will come for you hmm. right tell my brother thank you so much for speaking to us eh? i told you, you short and sweet like your height uh, so thank you so much One guys it's a lie <laughs> i'm, I'm 6.2 <laughs> <laughs> then 6.2 yeah i'm 6.2 okay yeah. centimeters <laughs> six centimeters <laughs> We're done, Charlie. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the conversation. We had massive time, great time with all of the boy and as well as Beat Vampire right here in the studios of Loop Music. My name is KING Kweku Mensa. Make sure to follow us on all social media. It is 3 Extra on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Subscribe, like, follow, share the link like Alpha. I'll catch you in the next episode, Charlie.